Morris throws it away, picked off by Brogdon. Turner down the lane, lays it in. That hasn't had, doesn't need as much time. It's what you do on the defensive end. Malcolm Brogdon gets this one up and it rewards the running Miles Turner. Let me tell you what this is. This is Malcolm Brogdon as a leader. I mean, this is a good job here. The, the pass comes back, but prior to that, all you could see was a good job by getting it to. Again, grew up about 10 minutes here from Little Caesars Arena. Talked to Edmund, and he makes the block. Sure did. Pacers just 2 of 9 from the field in the quarter. They're shooting just 41%. I like the defensive pressure, though. And Hill. the steal. You got a steal by T.J. Warren. You can see the defensive pressure there. And Hyde through the first three games. He picks up the steal and the dunk. He's got 12, but the pace seconds. Rose, length of the floor. Gets there with a left hand blocked by Holiday. And that's the end of the third quarter. We think about two years ago, that brand new team. They started slow, six and eight. As Sabonis to the rim, it's a six-point game. Pacers.com slash sneaker slam. Sumner Attack and the Pacers. Yes. Is he going to slam it? He got it. Not a slam, but a layup. And he has a chance to cut it to two. You pick and roll. You turn the corner. Now you can see right there that there was trouble on the side for Morris, who didn't know what to do. The good hands of Sabonis gets it, and then Rose short, and the Pacers again have it down three. Running is Warren in transition at the rim. Really good job. Warren for yes. three. They got to take. They're not taking the timeout. They're going to play it, but TJ is able to get it going. First, it's TJ Warren to give the Pacers a four-point lead.